Well, I, I think that it's a, it's a very, very good question. I, I think as we think about politics in America, and you think about the the, um, the demographic shifts in America, particularly along racial and ethnic lines. I think one of the stories of President Obama's re-election in 2012. Uh, and there are many takeaways, but one of the most prominent, I think, and in, 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 in enduring ones will be how both parties, particularly Republicans, respond to the growing brown and black population in America and how that population of Americans view and consume politics, uh, what issues concern them, what uh, dynamics drive them when it comes to making political decisions. Uh, we've talked about some of the issues already, health care being a big part of it, but immigration. Uh, job creation, um, uh, uh, ensuring that people can not only find a job, but find a job with, with making a livable wage. I think these issues cut across and transcend uh, race in so many ways. Um, and when you look at the particular challenges and dynamics and responsibilities and burdens facing black and brown communities across the country, um, uh, those concerns in some ways are more prevalent. Education being uh, one of the big, big civil rights causes, I think, of the 21st century. How do you ensure that public education uh, across the country, uh, particularly uh, in neighborhoods and communities where you have larger percentages of minority populations, that these schools are educating kids and providing them with the skill set and tools needed to compete and win, uh, not only in a, in a U.S. marketplace, but globally. Uh, President Obama's election clearly was an historic moment. Uh, and um, um, what he's been able to accomplish. I, know, I think about when parents used to say to particularly uh, parents, black and brown parents in America might look at their kids six, seven, 10, 20, 30 years ago and say, you're gonna grow up and be president one day. And actually has some real truth, a real ring to it. Uh, hopefully in my generation, we'll see a woman elected president. And hopefully in my generation, we see other first uh, in barrier, see other barriers broken uh, as well. So I view the post Obama, we're not in the post-Obama presidency yet, but the fact that President Obama was elected and what it means for politics, I think it opens the door for a number of barriers to be torn down. And I think there's no doubt that black Americans are particularly excited and there's a particular joy that uh, African Americans get from watching President Obama. But I would have to think that all Americans get a, a big joy from it, and particularly those who want to see other barriers fall for Latinas, for women, uh, for gay and lesbian politicians, I think there's a, a great sense of hope that uh, there's a new era in American politics. And it's my hope, and this come, may come out in a strange way, but it's my hope that Republicans begin to embrace this more. Because um, as a Democrat, I'd love to see a great, great debate between the two parties, a fair debate. I want my party to win. But right now, it's so easy for Democrats to beat Republicans nationally because I think Republicans are losing. Uh, in a big, big way when it comes to the mainstream social conversation about where the country, uh, where the country's headed. Uh, so I'm excited about where we are, more excited about where we're going, uh, and hopeful that the political discourse in the country is elevated uh, uh, as a result.